Hey guys, Mark Gellard here for Tennis One, and today I want to talk to you about a very important part of tennis, which is perception. This is very underrated and not worked on enough by tennis coaches all over the world. And the Spanish have really found a niche for this area, and they really work on knowing where your body is in relation to the ball and the tennis court. So today, in this lesson, I'm going to give you three very simple drills that you can do to improve your perception. And you can do these with your coach, with your hitting partner, or even with your uh, with a ball machine. So these are excellent drills to work your perception and working on where the ball is in relation to your body. Many times you'll see a uh, country club or recreational players having the ball way too close or too far away from them. And that is because they are not perceiving the ball quick enough or accurately enough. Then remember there's two parts to tennis. There's receiving the ball and then there's sending the ball. And both of those parts are very important. A lot of people work on the sending part. They don't work enough on the receiving part. And that's the most important part. And for me, I spend now at least 45 minutes a day when I have my students throughout the day working on these kinds of drills because they are crucial to the improvement of all strokes. So take a look at these three drills and then we'll have a look at them in detail. In this first drill, offense, defense, a very simple task is given to the player where they are instructed to move back for a deep high ball which they will play cross court and then come into the court and play their short ball down the line. Now, the important thing here is you'll notice I've put up a rope using a net checker and what I'm asking Diana to do in this situation is when she moves back is to hit her deep ball cross court over the rope and her short ball has to go between the net and the rope. As she moves back, it's very important that you notice how she moves back as well. A lot of club players or recreational players will back pedal or even... Uh, turn and run back. What Diana is doing in this drill, you'll notice, is shuffling back using a crossover, a sideways crossover, as seen here. And that gives her the quickest movement backwards and also prepares her for the optimal loading at contact. Again, noticing here on the backhand side, she's taking the deep ball over the rope and the short ball, she's trying to go between the net and the rope. And now we'll see it from a different angle here using the net checker. I'm having Diana hit one ball over the rope, the deep one, which is very important when you're back in the court that you create a high over the net to get depth. And then the short one is going to go between the net and the rope. An excellent drill to work on perception and accuracy. Now, as mentioned in the start of this video, tennis is about sending and receiving. A lot of players, whatever level, struggle with one or both of these parts, and it's very important to understand they're related. In this simple exercise here, a coach or hitting partner will be located at the net. And notice how I'm mixing up the style of my volleys between a traditional volley and a volley where I will actually hit the ball into the ground on my side of the net first, just like this, creating a top spin on the ball. So the opponent or my hitting partner is going to receive a different types of ball, a spin volley from me and then a regular flat volley and this really challenges the perception skills because the ball will come completely differently off the ground each time so a great way to improve perception and footwork and you'll notice here that I'm having Diana just stand in the middle of the court hitting forehands and backhands so she's really having to focus on body awareness and pay a lot of attention to how the ball leaves my racket And the same drill again here from behind, but I've really stolen this drill from the Spanish who do this excellently. They're just mixing up the volleys between a traditional volley and a spin volley. And that one I hit into the ground creates a top spin on the ball. So as it bounces on her side, it's going to shoot off the ground like a top spin ball would, really challenging her timing. Now in this final perception drill here, what I have Diana doing is standing in the back end corner and hitting two or three ground strokes followed by a deep volley. This is an excellent drill. It is an advanced level drill here because this takes a lot of ball control. But what you'll notice is she's going to get a regular cross court back end, another regular cross court back end, and then she's going to move in, take a volley out of the air, and continue the drill. A very, very challenging exercise in many different ways, but it's an excellent way to improve perception and body awareness. Again now, we'll just move over to the forehand side and she'll do the same exact drill, working two or three ground strokes, 
moving in and taking a volley somewhere between the baseline and service line. So not only is she working on perception and body awareness, but she's also going to improve her volleys and ground strokes dramatically. Again, here you'll see her moving forwards, and I'm just mixing up my volleys between two or three ground strokes and a volley. An excellent drill to work on her perception, reactions, and understanding of the court. And finally, here we have a view from behind, just to illustrate the footwork that's required and the intensity in this drill. It's as much about physical concentration as mental here, because she really needs to focus on moving her feet and watching where the ball is coming off my racket. Now in all three of those drills, we provided different situations or circumstances for the player to adapt to. In the first exercise there, we saw Diana having to move forwards and backwards, depending on the ball I gave her, and this is a great drill for depth perception and body awareness. In the second drill, you saw her on the baseline and hitting to me, and I was volleying, giving her a mixture of regular volleys and volleys where I would actually hit the ball into the ground on my side first, which created a topspin. So she was receiving flat balls and topspin balls. And then in the third drill, you saw how I was providing a different shot selection for her by making her hit ground strokes once or twice, and then a volley. Ground strokes, volley. So she was constantly having to move forward and pay attention to the ball leaving my racket. So she was really working on her receiving skills and not just her sending skills. All three drills I've seen done from the country club player all the way up to the professional level player. And in Spain, this is what they do so well and in my opinion is one of the key ingredients to why they are so successful at all levels. Thanks very much for watching today's video on Tennis One and keep checking back for more great videos. Thanks for watching, I'm Mark Gellar.